Hey guys, welcome back to Space Nerd Confessions. I'm Cynthia, and I know it's been a while since I posted my last video. I can lay out every excuse in the book, but I'm just going to blame procrastination. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about why we need a Space Force, because I find that the newest branch of the military is commonly misunderstood. So let's think about it for a second. In the last few years alone, there were numerous exciting breakthroughs in space technology. For example, SpaceX. They revolutionized rockets, they landed astronauts on the International Space Station, and they plan on launching tens of thousands of satellites into space within the next few decades. So these breakthroughs raise a number of questions about how prepared global society is on the growing reliance of space-enabled services, technology, and connectivity. So while SpaceX and other companies are looking to create or exploit new markets through the application of novel technologies such as space manufacturing, space mining, or space tourism, where earthbound societies remain increasingly reliant on a host of more mature space technologies and services for basic functions. These basic functions support an array of activities to include defense, maritime and border security, uh, humanitarian efforts support, natural disaster predictions, um, financial transactions, transportation, the list goes on. For example, GPS satellites not only allow for a safe navigation for land, sea and air, but they also provide support for financial transactions and protocols. And without this protocol support that's provided by these GPS satellites, it can cause a multitude of things. For example, it can cause internet to slow, it can cause access to the cloud to deteriorate, or for control systems for energy grid or water or transportation, it could begin to fail. In 1998, a single US communications satellite broke down, and it wasn't only the television and messaging systems that failed. Credit card systems stopped processing payments, weather radars went blind, and frustrated drivers found themselves unable to fuel their vehicles at gas stations. Space has become essential to our prosperity and security, and unfortunately this is commonly known and understood as satellite systems are increasingly threatened by hostile state and non-state actors. So faced with the growing risk to space infrastructure, a concerted response is needed to boost the resiliency of global societies to either natural or man-made disruptions of space-dependent services. So much so that we need a branch of our military dedicated to its defense, just like we have other branches dedicated to protecting and securing air, land, and sea. So if you ask, why is the protection of space necessary? Well, space is supporting us every day and it's woven into the fabric of our way of life. But most importantly, unfettered access to space is vital to national defense. So now you should understand why we need a space force. As a society, we've grown very reliant on space dependent services and these services need to be protected, whether it's from natural or man-made disruptions in order to sustain our way of life. Well, I hope this video was helpful for those that had questions about the Space Force. If you have any follow-up questions, be, feel free to drop them below in the comments, um, or if you have any suggestions or um, questions that you would like me to address in future videos, that would be great too. But uh, thank you again for watching my video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.